Let me have more time for how I feel. fan off by the way yeah it, it does that all the time blow wind into the cam mic it, it's crazy anyway uh, spring breaks uh, coming up and I've been wondering what, what, what are you guys planning on doing actually as a matter of fact yeah what are you doing over spring break I mean there's tons of fun activities you can do over at spring break Viva California Vacation, or however that song goes. Know what I mean? So, yeah. I wonder, what are you guys doing over spring break? Because as a matter of fact... Hold up. What the shit? Back in the days, we are technology used to reside in arcades and they go with, with this beachhead 2000 game and you grab this controller you're going around here and then you move the things left to right and you get the head tracking technology and etc and stuff now virtual reality comes to your home that's right my friends with the oculus rift still coming out we have the contenders, the HTC Vive, which is $200 more, PlayStation VR, Sony's knock at the VR thing, Sony's spot for the VR thingy, or etc. And then there's the affordable one that requires a very certain smartphone, and that is the Samsung Gear VR. This was made in collaboration with Oculus to ensure virtual reality on the go and ensure that people have access to virtual reality early. Well, those who have Samsung Galaxies. How this would actually work, if you see those little straps, they uh, hold the VR headset in your, on your head and you don't need to hold on to the VR headset. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put them on and all right, okay, um, I didn't put the, uh, Samsung Galaxy thing that it needs on there, uh, so why is it taking me where, uh, why is it still activated? I guess I'll play with stuff for a bit. All right, let's see what I can do. Ah, I see where it's going. Even though it's not actually powered on, it's still kind of weird, but... Okay. Okay. Anyway. So, what am I trying to get here? Alright. One more. <sighs> Alright, what was I going to end up talking about? Uh,
Anyway, I'm gonna cut this shit because uh, we're already in spring break already. Spring break already happened last week. Spring break may happen next week. But however, our spring break guest schedules differ exclusively. I mean, there's viewers in school, there's viewers in college, there's viewers, etc. And etc. and etc. The most obvious one is, of course, your quick backlogs. And of course, your killer uh, going pro multiplayer sessions, whatever. Also, as a matter of fact, there is 10 Cloverfield Lane that came to the movie theaters. Great film. You should watch it. But, however, go in knowing full well that this film has rarely to do with the Cloverfield series. I mean, if you want to... If you want to count the monster that fell from the sky at the end of the first film, then you can definitely say it does fit in. Because something attacking or something that causes these three people to stay in the bunker. You know what? Let's keep going. We have Senren Kagura Estival Versus. So, yeah, that's coming out this week. And, of course, it's coming out this week. So, what's Estival Versus about? Okay, Estival Versus is about ninja girls on the beach fighting through hordes of ninja girls on the beach. And of course, Saren Kagura is known for fan service stuff, and it's a good fan service ninja girl beat him up, whatever. So hey, Estival Versus looks like a fun game. You probably might want to give it a shot. Now, there's going to be an incoming discount sale that's going to be going on, because St. Patterson's Day. And also, uh, Easter, uh, Day of the Bunny Guy, or Easter Bunny, whoever they call him. Nah, I'm just fucking with you. If you are an anime watcher, like me as well, then you should check out... Okay, I have it up in my thing. Hold on. I have it up right there. Perfect. Shit. Sorry if I scared you guys. You have the new Evangelion that came out. When you fuck up your first exam... As a matter of fact, now that you're on spring break, catch up with your, uh, with your, uh, simulcast animes, alright? You could go to the zoo, kids, but, uh, good luck if your parents can find a parking space, because you have schools that do this. Old traditional spring break activities are never the same. For example, ever since fucking Toys R Us layoffs, man, he hasn't been the same. And we don't know the same thing happened to Mr. Camel. Okay. Okay. Ever since the Geico layoffs, he hasn't been the same. Darkwing Ducks has been cancelled, he hasn't been the same. Well, Kangaroo Jack sucked a lot of ass, so that's expected. That and, uh, he wasn't included in Tekken 7. They never been the same. Never been the same. Or you can just crash. Drama! However, if you're looking forward to importing Dead or Alive Extreme 3 and playing it over your uh, spring break, you're a shit out of luck because that game comes out on the 24th of March. But however, good thing I came to uh, spring break uh, prepared just like I do my videos. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I gotta fucking stop. That's all, and just know that Duke Nukem Forever was a conspiracy to profit from the hype and gather funds to add to Borderlands 2's budget. Why did I say that? Why did I say that? It's Libra, a man who specializes in uh, capturing and studying monsters. And, uh, yeah. And you're here to investigate an unknown thing.